You are watching a free lesson from UI design in Photoshop course. See the description below to know more about this course or watch till the end of this video. Hello everyone. Today we are going to create this pressed effect. It is very important in all the UI designs to show there are pressed states of buttons and uh, uh, it is used in a lot of places. So you should always master this technique. So let's create this quickly. Uh, open up a new file. I'm going to open this one. Alt delete to fill the canvas with the foreground color. And uh, we are going to use this rounded rectangle tool to draw a rounded rectangle like that. I'm going to create a bit bigger one so you can see it easily. Okay, I have created this one. Let's change the background color. I'm using a solid color fill for the background. Change it to something like this one. Okay, now we have created this uh, rounded rectangle. So let's create some guides around it like that now draw another rounded rectangle from the middle to this section this is going to be pressed okay now in the properties uh, uncheck this one and we are going to remove the left to roundness for this one okay we are good to go let's change this button to something like this Maybe a sharper blue is look will look good. Okay, now our base structure is ready. Let's create some uh, effects around it and uh, put some layer styles on it. Okay, let's first put some text over it. Text should be something. I'm going to show another technique. I'm going selecting the both text and changing their size simultaneously like that. This is another technique. A lot of designers don't know it. And uh, we are going to align them again with our guides like that. Or control H. Okay something strange okay now here yeah, this one sorry okay select this and we are going to again align it in the middle okay that's it now we are going to change this pressed to white color just to make sure it looks good remove the guides hide the guides and now we are going to okay First, we are going to apply styles to this inner layer. So this is the layer inside. We are going to apply layer styles, inner shadow. Okay, now uh, in the inner shadow, make sure that you have selected multiply and uh, color is black. Uh, don't use any other color. You can also use uh, darker shade for this blue. Uh, but I guess blacks is black is better Then uh, use this opacity if you want more darker effect you can go from here like that Maybe we should set it to 50% uh, Distance it is up to you. You can choose whatever distance, but to, don't go too further because it will uh, It will change your effect. So it, it, it will not sometimes look uh, pressed so Keep it short like 5 or 3 pixels is uh, more than enough. And uh, the blur size should be uh, a bit higher from this size. So make it like 9 or 10 or something like that closer to this one. We don't need any other things. Light should be from the 90 degree angle. Press OK. And uh, this is almost halfway our, of our pressed effect. Now let's create another thing now when the light falls from here it should have some shine on this area so to create this we are going to select this layer the other one 
which was the container actually and we are going to apply few styles on it first we are going to apply stroke okay keep in mind that stroke should be darker than this background so i am going to select this background and i am going to reduce the bab brightness to uh, 65 percent okay now our um, stroke is done now let's go to the drop shadow okay now we don't uh, need this global light because we are going to use it for uh, on the other side okay okay 90 degree is yes we are going to use it at the top and we are going to use white color and remove this multiply we are going to use it normal okay now you can see how it is getting the shine over here on this area then we are going to reduce it because it is getting a very big shine one for this one and two for this one okay i guess this is good enough one for the distance and two for the blur size so this is basically how to we we are going to create this pressed light over here so this uh, stuff looked really pressed so now we are almost finished with this effect let me show you by zooming in you can see how this is working we are showing uh, a very slim stroke line around it and then we are showing shine over here and inner shadow over here so if you want to reduce the inner shadow you can reduce it to like three pixels i'm going to zoom out you can see how this pressed effect works so this is all about creating these pressed effects and uh, uh, pressed buttons and pressed states for uh, different objects it has a lot of use in ui so see you in the next lecture you have just watched one lesson from my udemy course and uh, let me show you what i am going to teach you in that course it has more than 100 lectures and nine hours of video on ui design if you really want to be a ui designer you should be considering to take this course here are a few examples we are going to cover photoshop settings and preferences for ui design then we are going to cover all the basics like shadowing uh, light and uh, how to design different uh, uh, drop shadows like soft shadows inner shadows and layer effects then we are going to create a lot of awesome exercises you are going to see right now header designs mobile apps dashboard design so all these exercises we are going to cover in this course so don't waste time, grab this course. You are not going to find tutorials on each topic I have covered in this course. For all my YouTube viewers, it is just $10. So grab it while it is only just $10. So let's see you in that course.